Just on the work from home schemes that make them harder to detect. One man found that out when the feds came knocking on his door. Local 12's Paula Toti shows us how the criminals are getting more efficient and more sophisticated. It seemed ideal to me to try to earn a little extra money. You know, I've got quite a big family. Gary, like most parents, thought a few extra hundred dollars each month would help, so he decided to look for a part-time job he could do at home. I had my resume out there, and you get uh, approached by these people online that they saw your resume and uh, respond. So I did, and it looked pretty legit as far as this company is concerned. He applied for an online manager job where he'd receive packages and then post the items online to sell. Gary received a percentage of each sale. The rest was wired to his employer. It worked pretty well. I was thinking I was doing an honest job. Until he got a knock at the door from postal inspectors who told him he was using counterfeit postage, a federal offense. That was a complete shock. It turns out this company was not paying for the postage in some way or another. Well, I felt really, really bad. Really bad. He sent more than 500 packages over a year span and believed the company was legit because of its efficient systems. The criminal enterprise is becoming more and more organized and sophisticated to the level where they are actually running websites where these new uh, reshippers will log into the website and then they will see all the list of packages that they're expected to be getting in the next day or two days. In addition, Gary was being paid. Most reshipping schemes unravel after a short time because victims never receive payment for their work. He thought he had a legitimate business and he was keeping excellent business records. Bottom line, before you enter into any employment position, ask yourself, is it too good to be true? In 26 years of being an inspector, I have not come across one single instance of a legitimate reshipping case. It doesn't happen. Postal inspectors warn consumers considering jobs they have learned about online to do some research. You can check with the BBB or state attorney general to see if there are complaints about a company. Paula Toti, Local 12 News. From Local 12, the